Bueno, chica. So now these little cows came over here to have a drink. And over here, this guy's washing a horse. Check out this hike here. See what going to the Miradors like a canyon. Dog a nice walk. We're getting closer to the canyon. It should be right in that cranny there. We didn't bring any money or anything, so we're just kind of checking it out for the day. Here we can see the mirror door already. And down here I bet. Might be where the boats head up the canyon. Wow, we're starting to see the steep walls of the canyon. Somoto Canyon. Sombritas, Danny, you better jump in. Michael Rahm says he crossed the border into Mexico today. Border is not closed. Smoothest border crossing ever. <laughs> We almost lost it. So we're gonna take this boat. He's gonna wait for us down there. This should be good. Little boat ride, don't need a guide. New way to check out the canyon today. That's it, I guess, for the boat. We're definitely getting into the heart of it, though. This is looking pretty. This is the point we're gonna go on foot. 
then we'll have to swim a little maybe. See what's going on up here. Unfortunately, there's been a lot of ticks back there at the camp spot. They just rediscovered this canyon in 2004. Sun just started shining in. Zip a sign. Choose your own adventure situation without a guide as we prefer. You can see through the water and the river really easy. These pools here are isolated. It's like we could walk along here. If we want to go farther, this is kind of a decision point. At this point, it's probably easiest just to swim. Emily definitely gave me a talking to earlier about how I always want to go a little farther, a little farther, but I can't help it right now. I hear a big waterfall up ahead. This part is getting a bit wild, but let's check it out. Sometimes I feel a tinge of fear about what's down there at the bottom of the canyon, but I have to become numb to that fear swimming through the depths alone. I wish I'd brought my snorkeling mask. I don't think Emily would like this, but what an adventure here. First thing in Nicaragua. I think this must be the best part of all the canyon. All by myself. Very steep. It don't matter I don't have a guide because it feels more dangerous or adventurous. More like I'm actually exploring. Instead of just following some dude who does it every day, I can imagine I'm the first person here. This 
must be the skinniest part. Let's see if I can climb up here somehow. That's it. Ah. I guess I'll turn back now, but it's pretty fun exploring this canyon with no guide. Ooh, I haven't swam that far in a long time. <laughs> Only halfway there. <laughs> we got the bro. Jump in first. This is taking me back to Finca Paraiso, climbing up with those kids. I think those kids would go higher. Too much air. You can tell right here how easy it is to tell if it's deep or not, so it's safer than it felt. Getting closer to the wife and the doggy. Back, time to head back to the van. So that's where the boats leave from, right over there. That's the right way, baby. Muy bien. And our boatman's waiting, but here I see to the side. That's where all the inner tubes are. If you want to inner tube the canyon, you can pick them up here and take it with you for support. So it's up to you. You can get these inner tubes, you can get this boat, or you can just not pay anything and do it yourself after doing the $3 entry to the area when you drive in. I'm all for supporting the local economy, but I mean, in the US, I wouldn't get a guide just to walk down a canyon. And when you do have a guide, then sometimes they rush you. Sometimes they want more money later. You know, I'd just rather do it at my own pace and have a nice stroll out of it. Not feel like some guy's pushing me.
Well, that's gonna do it for our first stop here in Nicaragua. It's a beautiful, peaceful valley. And we're looking forward to enjoying Nicaragua more. Thanks for watching. See you next time when we check out a local Nico's cliffside sculptures.